I'll be showing you how to install a Game Boy or Game Boy Advance emulator on your Wear OS smartwatch. So to clarify, that's Wear OS, not just the normal Android operating system on a small screen for that some watches use. This is for Wear OS, which is the common Android wearable version that you'll find on most smartwatches. Normal Android on a smartwatch is a bit easy to do because it's just your normal Android trunk down on a watch screen but this is actually the way to get it done on Wear OS, where the app isn't actually available on the Play Store to download. So this, in theory, can be used to install any Android app on Wear OS, but you'll find most probably won't work. But in this case, there is a Game Boy Advance and normal emulator, which does. The first thing you're going to want to do is download the Android platform tools, which you can get for Windows or Mac. I'll be doing it on Windows today and just download that one in an easy, easy directory to work from. I've just put that there in the C drive for simplicity. There we go, we've just extracted it there. You might want a more uh, safer place to put it, but I've just put in the C drive just to make it a bit simpler to show you how it works. Now, on the start menu, type in run, and then CMD in the box that pops up to get the watch into debug mode. Go to settings, uh, system, as you can see developer options is already there but if it wasn't you'd be going to about um, and then looking for the build number and tapping that a few times until it tells you you're a developer and you're a developer now. So if you go to settings you'll see there is developer options there and the important one is debug over Wi-Fi to be on. ADB debugging to be on, debug over Wi-Fi on, and that address is one we're going to put into the prompt. And when you first do the ADB connect and that address prompt, have your watch handy because you'll need to put yes on the screen to let it connect. And just to clarify, to get that address that you need to connect your watch to, go back to settings, developer options, and there it is. Under debug over Wi-Fi, 192.168.122.5555, and that's what we enter there. Those are the commands. Those are basically the three, really only two commands. The first one, just get to your folder, the connect command, and then the install command. Now, I've put all on the same page the commands. So you cd slash the folder, platform tools, whatever folder you've got it in, then dot slash adb connect to that address that's on your watch screen and then ADP install and the name of the APK or the app you're installing. So once that installs you get a confirmation on the prompt screen, command prompt screen and then when you go to your watch there'll be the My Boy app there. I use the My Boy um, which is a really great emulator. Um, so if you go into that, now I recommend just one step back an app like Nav Explorer which has, you can transfer files by Wi-Fi or Bluetooth from your Android phone to your watch. It's just a file explorer. I chose to use the default ringtones, ringtones uh, folder. So you can't really see, but the top right is the button that you can choose the folder. So I chose ringtones and I've got some of those ROMs there. Um, so these are the ones I prepared earlier. There are options to resize the screen. So as you can see, it fits quite well. The bottom here will get you to the menu setting. You can change the controls, you can save and load games, and that works perfectly well. So obviously RPGs, turn-based games, are probably a bit more, <laughs> a bit more easy to play than other ones, such as um, platformers, but they are playable, but obviously a bit tricky with these controls. Um, when you exit the app like that, it does keep it open in the background. It doesn't actually drain the battery too much. Um, playing the game does drain the battery. Usage depends on your watch, but if you just press the button go back to this menu, it will freeze it in the background. And when you pop it back there, it normally comes back exactly, exactly where you left off. Um, but recommend saving your game if you're actually going to play it with some... You don't want to lose your progress there. Um, so a few different games work, um, haven't had any problem with any of the games working and as I said your settings there you can change your input layouts of everything. Um, music works well you can, but you can turn it down if you don't want that. And if you go back a step, go back a step. Um, 
There it is. Just showing you some games there. I didn't save anything there. And there we go. And just to clarify that the app I used was My Boy, which is a Game Boy Advance emulator, and My Old Boy is for the, is the original Game Boy emulator by the same developer. These are not free apps. They are paid apps. Please purchase them from the Google Play Store. Do the right thing, support the developer, and purchase these apps if you are going to use the APK app file to sideload them onto your Android Wear OS watch. Thanks.